Welcome everyone to another live commentary of open source and operating system development here. Latest case in point, uh, breaking news on some websites, uh, ex uh, accelerated on, on Slashdot and stuff like this. IT Wire of all websites here apparently interviewed Linus Torvalds according to their own stuff um, because Rust is being probably heading to the Linux kernel. For those who are new to this stuff, uh, languages like C, C++, Rust, Rust, the latest and greatest out of Mozilla Labs, although they fired all the people, so no external stuff, more memory, safe language. And um, Google, I think it was mostly Google spearheaded that, yeah, at least I should have scrolled up. So Rust probably heading to the Linux kernel, not yet in there, maybe the next or uh, um, following release. Um, so far, it will, if it will be applied, it will be just some modules, like not all over the driver. The problem is also Rust does not support all Linux architectures. So right now it's like for memory safer stuff, uh, maybe some drivers. If, if, yeah, um, of course, not all like Super H and uh, Intenium Alpha, but even Risk Five probably not yet upstream and other such stuff not to mention PowerPC and Spark and so on might not be or Motoro 68k might not be production ready AAA uh, primary tier architecture. So, <clears throat> so this is how this looks. So you can do some simple things there with this proposed patches. <coughs> Sorry. And um, uh, this is how this looks like and see this would be static uh, semaphore here. So I, not the greatest one of this kind of oversimplified examples, but that's what it is. Implementation file openers, like yeah, the naming. Um, I don't like this naming here the most, but whatever. And nitpicking. Um, open, share, semaphore, kernel result. Um, stuff and then read, write, self, or file data offsets, like yeah. Okay, so far so good. Um, and in general, I said this before, not Somehow, I well, ironically, I even named my company after more exact code, right? Um, and promoting that since 20 years already, bef long before the C people, say, yeah, we need something better. Um, I'm already saying since 20 years we need something better, and which is why I mostly use C++ before we had Rust. I'm not totally happy, but at least something better. But now Linus Torvalds said in this interview, yeah, first patches, Rust and stuff, and then asked for a post on... I think Linux Weekly news here, um, maybe uh, something, something, whatever. Um, like, uh, yeah, suggested in commenters on Linux Weekly news during the discussion solution here, simple, just use C++ instead of Rust. Uh, Torvalds could not restrain himself from throttling LOL was his response. C++ solves none of the C issues and only makes things worse. It really is a crap language. and. I just wanted to point some things out. Um, I'm really getting a little bit tired of Linus Torvalds runs, at least I try uh, to evaluate the stuff a little bit more professional and with some examples and so on. Um, ironically, says the one who wrote a whole, well, actually Linus Torvalds, in my opinion, sure he has, wrote and he has written a proof of concept example kernel there in 1991 um, and so on. But since then, he mostly is in this maintenance mode, similar to what you see on this channel with T2 Linux, like only merging other people's patches, so reviewing this, so it's not like he has written most of the state-of-the-art code. Um, and I would also say, so this kind of things, I find this rather unprofessional um, and, and totally disconnect from reality, similar to Apple's reality distortion field. And uh, sure, C++ is not perfect, um, and I'm personally not even at using it the most for the last 10 years and applied even more safer languages uh, as Rust. Although Rust also has this problem, right? This would be as if I, I never said really Rust is a crap language. I said Rust has problems, um, the micro dependency stuff and the cargo stuff, plus uh, readability concerns and a similar such stuff, but not once have even I announced here Rust really is a crap language. 
So, um, in, in my opinion, so as he writes here, C++ solves none of the C issues. I would argue um, there are many features, even in C++ 98, which is also already 20 years old. Um, of course, we have many C++ revisions since then. And many of those features, including templates, um, well, not, not even starting with classes, right? I mean, the Linux kernel is also littered with classes, classes like C with classes, um, with structs and manually matching functions to that. Of course, somewhat error prone and with all the macro and stuff magic. I would argue a lot of the stuff, sure, you can't and shouldn't use all of those STL and whatnot user space features in a kernel, but so you shouldn't do with C. But still, a lot of those features, um, like classes, uh, instead of emulating them with your own set of functions similar to GNU, uh, it's it's not GNU, similar to GNOMES, GNOMES, not GNU, GLib, there of C support stuff of GLib objects, um, instead of manually fiddling around with that, having some proper language support, who wouldn't want that? And uh, plus additionally, I think templates could be uh, who will um, best invention like generics since sliced bread. I showed this here before, could have done wonders to Nginx awareness in the kernel instead of manually Nginx swapping this, declaring this stuff as templates as I've shown here and, and certainly it's not an industry secret. Uh, just some low-hanging fruits. Again, you shouldn't use everything. Potentially exceptions may not be the most suited for a kernel, although um, I think it can make resource and error handling much less error prone and much more readable. Um, but that is another story. Sure, since then C++ has added lots of features, not all of which I would agree with, but you also don't need to use them in your kernel. So arguing that C++ solves none of C issues, I think is a rather um, fake claim here. And uh, making things worse is like, well, not really. Um, I find this argument really, really laughable. Also, I would say there are some features because C++ is mostly backward compatible, but they added some features as maybe first GNU extensions and then later uh, maybe even um, C language features like designated initializers and stuff. So some of this code in the Linux kernel would not compile a C++ including designated initializers which I find a shame. I, I'm not sure if they finally added that to C++, maybe they did in 20, whatever. Um, but yeah, so yes, they did not unfortunately pick up all the features that were added to C in the meantime, um, like this initializes. It's, yeah, but again, if you desperately wanted this, you could have pushed the GNU GCC maybe I shouldn't call this stuff GNU anymore, uh, the GCC and now Clang++ developers to support that if you really wanted to uh, since 20 years already. Um, and um, calling this is really is a crap language. It's like, um, I I have no words anymore. I'm, I'm really tired of Linus Torvalds, um, uh, people like this who think they also only want to know everything and maybe it's a little bit of lacking industry experience because I would all these comments make me wonder how much research he really does. Uh, it's the last um, it's the last time he used to looked at C++ in 1998 or 1996 or so, C with classes. Um, maybe he scrolled over some list or something, but uh, this is the difference between doing actually research and just in some relative distortion field echo chamber, uh, repeating the same fake statements all over again. And in, of course, other people also um, here in this Linux Weekly News, maybe here, there are other people, I would even say some of these arguments here are much better arguments than Linus Tolls calling this crap language. Actually quite some people are like, yeah, but this, but that is actually quite reasonable discussion there if you wanna read that here. Um, and um, yeah, otherwise four, I had this even open. All right, so be, I mean, does Rust solve everything? So, I mean, we have to see how much even comes from this. I don't have the highest expectations, probably at least a decade, 
uh, Bsoft before we see series use. Maybe we uh, maybe we see some driver, one or two, three drivers um, there in Rust. I would also not be surprised if this effort is um, will, 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 will be stalling like other efforts uh, due to the complexity and also changing and changing uh, Rust language. And uh, people may be even giving up on this in like just two, three, four, five years and not regular. I, I wouldn't even even surprise me if Linus Torvalds in five years or ten years calls Rust a crap language being disappointed by compiling performance by other um, code miscompilation and uh, otherwise complexity of supporting this and then older Rust versions and stuff not building and causing issues and so on. So yeah, so far it's only driver and some additional support stuff. Maybe there will be more eventually, uh, be, but it also doesn't solve the fundamental issue of uh, Linux, the Linux kernel being a monolithic single address space, uh, a mostly single address space kernel where everything can clobber each other left and right. Of course, Rust can help the set of your keyboard driver not clobbering the network stack and similar stuff like that. Um, or remote uh, remote code execution through TCP IP packages. But it all um, depends, of course, on how many logic bugs you can still make. And um, I said in a previous video, I showed probably in the other days, Fridays or so, in IT news here of previous IT, weekly IT news debriefings, Rust is not perfect, right? So that Rust would solve all security issues once and for all is also not true. It's also a misconception. As senior, of course, a lot of the stuff is not Rust core language, but similar to C++ STL, like standard library, um, as senior previously, of yeah, can also double free and um, uninitialized values, double free, more double free. And um, also it was with zip in null pointer dereference of also all, all the stuff just 2021 and um, in my opinion rather surprising that the latest and greatest memory safety and it's like yeah crates before although a little bit um sure this are additional crates but since this is similar to calling c plus a crap language just because you don't like all of the stl it's like yeah and yet i'm not calling rust a crap language this is just um the level of unsafe um, code and other logic bugs and uh, although I would I'm still surprised how many we can have here because this is yeah here starts 2021 um, so yeah in feature sets um, one other feature that could potentially help is also namespaces you could also just I mean readability and stuff it's not like it doesn't solve anything and how many I know uh, companies that, not not Microsoft, I know some other small companies here where some friends work and stuff or some friends found it and they write really amazing C++ code and they even say they have like next to zero, like they only write without string copy and mem copy and stringling and stuff they only use. Like yeah, strings, right? C++, uh, C++ solved none of the C uh, stuff. I would even argue like yeah, some proper string class are good already probably 50 to 80 percent or so of tribal string stuff and potentially even improve performance right if you have lengths like strings and can, that can hold um, zero bytes um, for binary data and have an explicit length can even perform better um, for some operations uh, because you know the string length before for concatenation and uh, other such stuff and um, yeah, so so much to it solves none. Where was it? None of the C issues. Like, yeah, I, I would argue it can solve a lot. And again, I'm not a C++ fanboy. I was in 1998 to maybe 2002 or so. Uh, that were the four years of honeymoon uh, with me and, and C++. But I'm neither a C, C++, Rust or uh, Ada fanboy here, but realistically it can easily solve a lot of issues and sure, I'm not the greatest fan of everything in C++. Um, I'm surprised that some stuff is still not possible. 
I, if this would be my language, I would have much earlier supported multiple return values um, natively without use of std pairs or tuples or so. And I would also um, support uh, or yeah, operator. I mean, there are so much stuff that can make kernel or other code much more readable. Operator overloading, and and, and again, templates right for all the data structures, list and stuff. Um, you can't call this none and, and crap language. And um, yeah, especially strings and so on. Um, last but not least, uh, yeah, I, last but not least, I don't agree with all the development. I, for example, operator overloading, I'm really surprised that you can't, um, as seen in my DOS low level examples, it's really hard to build nice uh, array abstraction because you can, of course, operator uh, overload the array operator, but you so effectively you can only do uh, efficient access to uh, setting stuff, uh, reading such stuff is, yeah, some, some of the stuff is not as uh, easily extendable or generically usable like I would uh, like it to be, plus a lot of STD uh, complexity I would actually um, prefer not, I'm not even sure, once upon a time I saw they were considering um, C, two, 2D graphic libraries and, and the C default language like uh, having their, um, uh, what is it, um, like Pango, what was the other canvas, like Cairo or something, uh, maybe I, mean, I should, should quickly google it, uh, C++ STD Cairo or something, they once upon a time um, wanted to get yeah, 2D graphics proposal for the C++, I'm not sure what, I hope they didn't, um, uh, whatever they have done there, I didn't quite follow this up, but this kind of stuff is crazy to me, of course you shouldn't put whole 2D libraries um, in there, that should of course external, but um, yeah, otherwise, or like networking, there is also, I think this should better not be part of a programming language and standard library, but yeah. Anyway, so this is just some update of, I really wish this would not always take too many circles. I mean, other people you would long not have taken seriously anymore of, um, well, I agree with some stuff like showing in video the finger, it's certainly well deserved. And previous video agreeing with Linus Torvalds that uh, I hope AVX 512 dies a, a slow, painful death or whatever that precisely was. But otherwise, with all this shouting out of a very domain specific and yeah, educational feel, I find a little bit silly. Maybe also because Linus Torvalds has not done much else in his life. He mostly has worked on the Linux kernel. He briefly worked at Transmeta. Not sure if maybe the nearly only company Linus Torvalds ever worked was Transmeta. I'm not sure what he precisely did there, if he contributed to the code morphing or just the testing or they wanted this for the advertising uh, PR benefit and he could just play around there, maybe test um, his Linux kernel development on transmitter crews and efficient CPUs or something. But uh, after that, he, I think he mostly was founded by stuff like the Linux Foundation, probably need to check, but this is also, yeah, sure, for 30 years doing one thing, um, I would say he, he does his Linux C thing very well, but not necessarily everything else, right? And maybe merging patches the whole day and shouting at people how badly they were done leaves not that much time to do proper research and uh, education of latest and greatest stuff because most people I speak do have the opinion that C++ improved their programming um, workflow efficiency and bugs and stuff significantly and um, nobody I know ever said he would want to write triple A uh, major humongous software uh, plainly in C and I, I also I can this and as seen here regularly on this channel even with uh, fancy C code. Sure I can write fancy C code but it's not like I love it or it is the most maintainable. Um, sure I can do this 
I certainly know, know most tricks and undefined behavior and other fun stuff like this. But it's not like I would want to write a kernel or uh, let alone a major piece of UI-based software in this language. So, um, Dr. Schubert agrees monolithic kernels are crap, so uh, regardless of the language they are written in, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, and um, I mean, it's ironic. It's the same with microkernel, right? Linus talks like microkernel are crap. It's like, yeah, it depends what you want. And ironically, you could even argue a lot of people use Linux a little bit microkernel-ish today with, why do we need to use all the virtualization because the, kernel, the, the kernels and operating systems are so insecure um, and uh, or namespaces and so on. So with, with all the namespaces, sandboxes and virtual machines, uh, the whole setup is kind of multi-server, just not on a real microkernel. And um, let's see, Dr. Schubert writes last week, Linux routers of faculty of informatics kernel panic because of application layer packet filtration. Yeah, amazing stuff. The recurring theme that I shout out here, right? And uh, this is also the ever-changingness. I'm so sick and tired um, of the Linux people knowing everything so good that they every quarter break major APIs and it becomes a major burden to keep patches around, P3 constantly arguments removed, functions renamed, um, also SGI Octane stuff, or P3 is still upstream, upstream, but in the meantime broken. I just got everything to work again and now they broke the stuff again, um, even upstream with whatever. So yeah, ever changing. I would my recommendation would also be to stop ever changing all the APIs around. Stop refactoring on a weekly basis. Uh, refactor stuff like sometimes like once a year a little bit, but the constant renaming, reshuffling, and and API changes is, is just hilarious. Walter Fricklander writes FreeBSD or any BSD for that matter doing a better job with their kernel. Uh, people recurrently ask me that. In my opinion, the BSDs are even more vintage code quality. I, from the ones, well, I, I would not really use any of them much from those. OpenBSD certainly has the best track record. Um, of course, supports the least stuff, the lowest performance, but the highest security because um, not implementing each, each exotic feature and performance optimization and, and stuff. Um, so from that point, OpenBSD is certainly the most security approved despite being written in C. And uh, of course, it comes with trade-offs, not all the hardware support, driver support, uh, and, and modern APIs. Um, and otherwise, as interesting, I find, find Dragonfly BSD for trying a little bit more modern hybrid and stuff. But um, yeah, um, ironically, maybe I should uh, schedule some videos like, have you tried this and that, just for the fun of it. Um, otherwise, this Haiku B, um, BOS re-implementation actually pretty neat. Um, yeah, ironically, C++ code and this new Serenity OS, if not Redux OS. I would even argue the Serenity OS I opened at the other live stream, I probably can make a dedicated look at that um, of also new, I think, YouTube-based implemented for the educational um, fun of it. At least yeah, C++, like light white C++, and much more readable, much more um, modern yeah, code style uh, than the, the 80s based C stuff that is a Linux kernel. Anyway, only wanted to shout out, maybe I need to be careful, maybe some of my videos were also a little, or sometimes a little bit of this is crap and stuff, I probably should be careful not to, that's actually not really my language, maybe I should try not to copy Lewis Rossman and Linus Torvalds uh, wording here too much. Uh, I think I usually have tried at least and probably will try harder to give this a little bit more professional um, reality check. Leave in the comments below what you think. Um, do you agree with Linus Torvalds? Is C++ uh, a crap language that solves none of the C issues? And uh, otherwise, what is your Rust, RRD and other language experience? And uh, last but not least, fun fact, if the Linux kernel would have been microkernel um, or similar such situations, we wouldn't even have most of the stuff because, in my opinion, the stuff should be more isolated anyway. I said this here for years. 
And if you have a user space, network server and storage, file system server and so on, then this stuff is already naturally more isolated. And yes, yes, performance, I know uh, you can do a lot of performance, including using latest and greatest I.O. ring-like implementations and uh, all kinds of optimizations um, like read files of combining three I.O. CTLs into one for even more improved uh, or other vectored, previous video vectored I.O. CTLs of bundling up many of those. An idea um, much older than what the Linux kernel ever implemented, except I.O. ring. And um, so, yeah, and even if with all the performance do you want, I would rather have something 90% uh, more secure and more stable than the last 9% of performance, and especially with spectral meltdown and all the increasingly probably ongoing security, hardware security mitigations. So who cares about the next last 9% performance if you have an epic thread ripping AMD Ryzen kind of thing and want more security anyway. So anyway, looking forward to your comments. I hope you learned something and don't take each of Linus Torvalds ranting too seriously.